I was at a major institution um, battling mantle cell bone marrow cancer, and I was treated there for several years. She said, you know, we really can only take you so far. And uh, she recommended me to go see the Jonathan Air Cancer Center. When Jim came to us, morale was down. He physically didn't feel well, mentally didn't feel well. Dr. Gua wanted to enroll him into our trial for CAR T-cell therapy. CAR T-cell now is approved for two diseases in children and young adult acute lymphocyte leukemia and in aggressive lymphoma who have failed two prior therapies. So Jim was one of our patients on an ongoing clinical trial for an indication that is not approved yet. Jim had a mental cell lymphoma that did not respond to anything for two lines of therapy. So when he came to see us, we offered him the clinical trial. When Dr. Guar proposed this, you know, he kind of gave me an idea of what my immune system was going to be like when I went through it. On a chalkboard, basically, he just drew a straight line and he said, this is your immune system. Now, when we go through this therapy, your immune system is going to go like this and it's just going to spike and then you're gonna drop back down and kind of be normal. Genetically, we are able to take the cells of a patient who has cancer, lymphoma, leukemia, for example, modify the cells in the lab, grow the cells, and reinfuse the cells exactly like a transplant or a transfusion. The cells then start to amplify, divide in the system, and go after the lymphoma, the leukemia. I explained it to a lot of my family. It was like little Pac-Man going in and killing, and killing the bad guys. With over 6,500 transplants performed here at John Terry Cancer Center, we have strong hands-on experience on how you use cell therapy because we have done this in so many patients. So we have been part of this clinical trials and are able to offer this kind of therapy to patients, which offer them novel options. To be part of these trials with these new immunotherapies is the best feeling in the world, knowing that I'm helping patients who feel hopeful that they will be in a remission someday. They're like family to me now. They're amazing. They really show concern. This is not only a landmark in oncology, it's a landmark in medicine, a milestone in medicine. My life today is, well, the only thing I could say is, as my wife would say, you're the old Jimmy. You know, that's what she always says to me, which is kind of emotional.